Hey everybody, this is the Carbine Cowboy coming to you from a cool Montana morning. Hey, I just thought I would do a video today. We have a couple of rifles that we're getting zeroed in for our upcoming rifle season. I, uh, my dad has his Savage 22250. He's got his Browning X Bolt and a 25 out 6. And I brought out my Winchester Model 70 and the 25 Super Short. So as we get things going, we will go ahead and get a video for you. Okay. Now my dad's going to shoot his 22 250. He's working up a hand load with a Barnes 55 grain triple shock using IMR or DuPont 4064 powder and he's going to try a couple of three shot groups at a hundred yards to see which one gives him the best accuracy. So let's see if I can zoom in on our target down here which is about 109 yards. It's just a tad. See if I can see through the camera. The sun's kind of blocking me just a touch. And there is his targets. The bullseyes that he's shooting at are about the size of a dime. He tosses out any group that's over a quarter of an inch. Now most of you who read a lot of gun magazines, you'll hear them say if a rifle gives a you know two inch group at a hundred yards, that's considered acceptable hunting accuracy. Well, we take that to a whole new extreme. We try to get at least a quarter inch group or less. And it's an accuracy thing with us because we want that bullet to go everywhere we want it to go and do that so if there is a mishap we know it's not an ammunition problem it's either a rifle malfunction or a uh, shooter error so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a complete zoom in on these targets to see the holes but I will get a picture of the target once that's completed. What my dad is doing is uh, the way we reload our ammunition is we go in half increments, meaning if his starting load is let's say well, 36 to the left. Uh, grains of powder He'll fire three rounds to see where they hit on paper. Then he goes to his next three round group, which is a half green more, which would be like 36 and a half. And then we also check for pressure signs to make sure that we're not overloading the cartridge. And you can tell that very simply because the bolt will be hard to open. You'll have uh, primers that look like they're starting to back out and that kind of thing. So we'll see what his groups look like as soon as he gets done firing this because he just stepped up to his next group. Now he's shooting his Browning Expo. 25 out 6 with the 115 grain Barnes bullets and he's trying that new IMR or DuPont powder 7977. That's a relatively new powder. Uh, I don't use that in my 25 out 6. I stick with your IMR or DuPont 4831 because uh, it works for me. But um, let's see what my old man can do with this new DuPont powder. Now the ambient air temperature out here this morning is about 60 degrees. Um, so that's going to make a little bit of a difference compared to what it's going to be like here in another month when we're out here hunting and it's probably about 20 or 30 degrees that does affect 
your burn rate of your powder a lot of people will tell you no but it does well he just got done shooting a 22 250 with the 55 green Barnes triple shock fired a sheath three shot group at a hundred yards and it got a quarter inch group grab out of the rifle and see where these things hit okay and uh, we'll see how that does Yeah, it's 22 250 he got two holes right on top of each other with a flyer about a quarter inch away on his last shot that's one thing you guys have to be mindful of is barrel temperature because as a barrel starts to get warm they will start to warp a little one way or the other so that's why when you're shooting a rifle yeah you don't want the barrels to get hot I'm gonna try well everybody that was my dad's Browning X-Bolt 25-06 at 109 yards there are two bullets in one hole now that's a proper hand load when you read about all these gun writers saying that these new guns are getting a two inch group at 100 yards well I got news for them you can do a whole hell of a lot better yeah, so and you've you just that. seen it for yourself the bottom target down here right there that is a 25 super short that's 115 or no excuse me that is a hundred grain hornady yeah. those two bullets probably aren't I don't even know if they're of an eighth an inch part I got it zoomed in quite a bit but it's hitting just a tad left I got to move her oh, about an inch inch and a half to the right and she'll be good to go but as you can tell the 22 250 with the 55 greener two holes on top of each other and a flyer and I did the same thing right well where was it I'm looking at the wrong target oh yeah helps if I get the right target that one right there is the same way so you can tell as your barrels start to heat up they will uh, they will print a little different than that of a cold barrel first two shots right on top of each other and then the third shot but that's normal sometimes when the barrels start getting warm but I just wanted to show that to you. Now 22 250 with a 55 grain Barnes triple shock with 40 64 powder. The speed on that bullet is 3,815 feet a second. Not bad. And they will kill a deer. There. Well everybody this concludes my video for today. We're going to come back out later when it's cooler it's starting to warm up. So from the great state of Montana, this is Carbine Cowboy saying see you next time.